If we want medals, we have to invest. And the infrastructure is a part of it. And whoever, government, private sector, whomever, put your money where your mouth is. Because if you want medals, if you want to hug up the athletes, one has to invest. And talent can only take you up to a certain point. Jamaica went back on the podium in the men's 100 meters. We got a silver medal, the last big medal we have gotten since 2017 at a major championships in the men's sprints. You would think that Jamaicans would be overjoyed looking to the rest of the events to come. But guess what? We are so spoiled. It's mixed feelings as we look to the other days of action. Welcome to another episode of Paris Today. I am your host, Trishoda Mogowan. And remember, this is powered by Flow. Back with me, Daniel Blake, sports reporter from the Jamaica Observer. Hello, Trishoda. Nice to be back. You, I love that. Yeah, you like being my co-host? Yeah, I haven't left this chair since <laughs> last Friday. I ain't tired, I, and you're not leaving. Joining us, a woman in sports marketing over so many decades, Carol Beckford. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You happy to be here too? Yeah, I'm happy to still be able to mix with young people and still feel <laughs> <laughs> Then no, no, you're no. ageist people. I'm not an ageist. She said young people, and there's just one here. But who, uh -huh. and who is the young? Watch, look at this now. <laughs> <laughs> with a big smile. Oh, Jamaica, like I said, you know, um, Carol, I'm going to invite you in as our guest. The, the, the Jamaicans have been off to a good start, initially off to a good start, but then we were dealt some blows, a silver medal on the track in the men's 100 meters, a silver in the triple jump for women, uh, Shanika Ricketts, a bronze medal from Rodrindra Campbell in the men's shot put. Mm -hmm. Your emotions. Well, let me tell you, as somebody who has worked with athletes, I, I tend not to react. And I haven't got over that part. I haven't, I'm not quite the fan of track and field yet. So I'm still feel like I'm working. Um, I, I've worked with track and field long enough, 1984 in Los Angeles. Yeah, sure, your age. We got All three right, medals. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Um, 88. I mean, Grace running that 2176 against Flo Joe. And then, the bulk of the 44 medals we've gotten is across four Olympics. Yeah. So it was two, three, five, and so on. We got 11, 13, 11, and nine. And so that 44, which is half of our quota, was over four Olympics. So sometimes the cycle is clearly changing again. Yes. And we just have to be patient. Yeah. I've been on record saying that the medals would not come from Okay. The expected places, no, the expected places, um, and so far I've been good. I had seven as my quota for the for the team for the team. Yeah, uh, um, some some I had thirteen. Daniel had twenty prospects. Low had thirteen. So your numbers are not bad, right. realistic numbers. And at this stage, just might be heading there. Um, but we we are still in action, and our athletes are putting on a show because guess what? Another historic achievement for Jamaica when all three men in the discus throw advanced to the finals. Uh, Travis Michael, Roger Stoner, and Ralph Mullins. The field event athletes are showing out and having a great championships. I'm overjoyed. Yeah, and it's, it's really important that all three did this, especially in the absence of Frederick Dacus, who four or five years ago we thought that he would be carrying the torch obviously he's had his injury issues but for for roger in his first olympics ralford as well and chavis who we've had um high hopes for for them to to qualify in the way that they did is is, is really special and um hoping that they'll be able to recover and that the conditions um, will be favorable to them as well because we know that's a huge thing especially for our athletes who you know don't have the best facilities here in Jamaica um, compared to many of their competitors. Um, so it's good that all three are there. It's now just to sort of um, refocus, reprogram their minds and then just get ready for that final because, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's a possibility that, you know, they could cause an upset. I, I think so too. And you, you spoke about the conditions uh, a lot of our field event athletes are faced with and they, as a nation, our athletes continue to, I think, punch above our weight in terms of resources and the lack of thereof. Uh, when I went to training session with Travis Michael and Frederick Day, because it was in the night by their facilities and we, I had to be using my phone 
own life oh, to help yeah. them find yeah. discourse and stuff you know <laughs> just and that's just one of, of many um carol you you spoke about you know in in at the start where we're coming from where a lot of our medals are coming from over the last couple of decades as a nation um for you when you look at the field events and the growth there is from then to now Mm -hmm. Tell me how you feel about that. No, I'm overjoyed as somebody who actually threw the discus on the shot put in college just to get points wow. from, a, from a school. When I clearly know, showing my age for real, when I left high school, I wasn't even class two age, so I couldn't throw the shot put or the discus because there were open events for women. Yeah. So we have really come a far way. But I have to big up Michael Vassell, King of the Ring. Mm -hmm. When that event was first hosted at St. Hughes, he took money out of his pocket. Mm -hmm. um, my son benefited too because he was class two champion well, Lord, 20, 2011. And so I know what Michael and Julian and those guys have fought against. You know, we had to clean the ring at St. Hughes and the same kind of a thing, the, the phone to find the, 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 the device. The device, and so on. yeah. And so I am particularly proud, even in the long term. But let's go back a little in turn. There are some schools, there are some spaces that don't have those facilities. That too. And so, yes, they have a track. They have a 300 track, so the corner is different. So if you don't get a chance to participate internationally or even at Carifta, mm -hmm. I mean, you're going straight into the fire thereafter. I, I like to say talent is everywhere. However, equal opportunity isn't. And that's just the situation. Basically. Oh, absolutely. Security. Daniel spoke about facilities. I mean, I've been tweeting and I'm going to continue. The stadium has to fix. We can't go into 2028 mm -hmm. like this. It has to be fixed. We have 14 parishes, three only counties. Here, she, only here are? There are Look three, at my face. There are three counties, 14 parishes, each of which has space for these things. If we want medals, we have to invest. And the infrastructure is a part of it. And whoever, government, private sector, whomever, put your money where your mouth is. Because if you want medals, if you want to hug up the athletes, one has to invest. And talent can only take you up to a certain point. But Carol, a lot of me, look how Carol come at top of fixed stadium and has stress out and hug up athletes. Um, Daniel, do you think though, I like to say, you, if people think that uh, you're not, you, you're not in need of something. So I'm saying that to say our, our, our field event athletes, our athletes, they again punch above their weight. They perform at the, at, against the best mm -hmm. in the world mm -hmm. and we have everything and we don't. Here we are, three men in the discus finals, um, two men two to men come in, in, in the jump. long jump. Shanika Ricketts and Akilia, they made it, um, to the finals of the triple jump despite the limited to no resources that we're faced with. You think oh, that's why we're not get more things because people are maybe saying, are they doing this at this level, but they yet still they don't have? No, I, I just think that sports is still not a priority in many um, private sector companies' eyes. Yes, they will um, jump on, and we're grateful for the ones who do jump on because their support is important. Um, but when you think of, you know, if let's say two companies just come together and say we're going to fix three facilities so we're going to fix um the long jump pit we're going to fix the discus area and and maybe somewhere else you know buy some high jump bars and those things right that will make a significant difference not just for the now but for the future so now more of our primary school students can thrive those athletes are champs um so i think that the more or athletes do well, and I'm, I'm really happy that Rajinja um, got that medal as well, is that no more private companies will, will come in and, and see the value um, in, in our field events. Um, but also speaking of value, we have three women of value in the women's 400 who got to um, the next round. Uh, you the, know I clap when they do well. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Nikisha yes. Price, who many of uh, many Jamaicans predict as a, a medal favorite. Stacey yeah. and Williams looked really good. Mm -hmm. um, the heavily criticized Janelle Bromfield um, has also made it. Not um, for the work on the track. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first, Trishana, what did you make of, of their execution in, in, in this morning's heats? I thought Janelle Bromfield had to do a little bit more work. She of all three athletes. Um, 
I think her partner, Noah Lyles, has taught her the lean, um, the same lean that got her that automatic spot at our Jamaica National Trials. It's the same same lean that have her picking up that um, automatic qualifying spot to the semifinals. And I, I, I'm happy to see all three women there, especially knowing that we stand a chance of having two finalists mm -hmm. as well as a medalist. A medalist, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I think Nasser is probably one of the biggest threats in terms of the flat. Uh, but congrats to the women who clearly would have gone through. Um, Paulina from the Dom Rep. Yeah. Looked, looked impeccable. impeccable. Yeah, 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 yeah. She'll um, make it tough. Oh, yeah, I know. But let's go back to the lean. VCB had the lean down pat. Whatever she learned at Veer. Yeah. The girls from Veer tend to work. We're good leaners, you know. And what's her name? Um... Karen Stewart. Yeah, from St. Diego. From Saint yeah, Diego. yeah. They had the it lead. was that lean. It was that, that lean. Was the shared, yeah, one the shared medals. Yeah, so with Sharon Simpson, Shalene Fraser Prize, and herself back in 2000. Yes, I think. Let yeah. me tell you. So let's even talk back a little bit about Kishin. I And he said it. He was an experienced. He was trying to. He overstrode, if that's such a word. Mm -hmm. And he got caught and realized. And so the body is natural. It. I mean, VCB had fights with Felix. So she, I think it's something they practice. But it is part of race because he yeah. only ran up to that time probably seven events, which mm -hmm. included our local events. So I never, never had much pressure with a need to do so. Right. Um, and, and I think that played against, worked against him. Um, but a silver medal, and we're happy. Yes. Next thing, the people them go to Trishan, I'm <laughs> happy for the silver. I am overjoyed, a matter of fact. Yes. The silver for me felt like a goal. I'm just happy that our men are back on top of that point. We, had we were 11th on the medal table, guys. Come on. Philippines yeah. is still without an Olympic medal in track. The field. Carol, what? Listen. What? Hmm. Ooh, no. Tan, come on, come. Or, uh, we know why you're at up with people them, Eddie, now. Then we cost us, we know business, both Philippines and 2.7 to, to, to 3 million people. <laughs> People, they here. 76 years at the Olympics, 88 medals. When you do the stats, you're a woman of a particular age. Do Jamaicans ever care about what other people are just doing at the Olympics? Just are telling us, so that listen. we're doing well in terms of our numbers. Numbers matter. He does. So think. does size, by the way. Well, that's for another problem. <laughs> 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 What's wrong with Daniel? But guess what? Tomorrow, um, the men will be in action in the long jump final. Mm -hmm. Wayne Pinnock, last year's world championship silver medalist, um, not the smoothest of qualification, but did just enough and he's in the final. Kerry McLeod, who missed out on a medal last year at the world championships, is also there. And I still believe that both men, um, stands a chance of being on, on the podium or maybe one. Either way, again, the field event athletes are having a fantastic outing so far at the Paris Olympics, Daniel. Yeah, and to know that their main competition is is obviously Tentoglu, who, who is the overwhelming favorite. But, you know, as we've seen in, in the long jump events over the years, it, it only really takes one good jump and sometimes you have an off day. So yeah. Potentially, both of them can make the podium. It's it's really about execution, execution. and also about mental um, fortitude as well. Because sometimes when things aren't going your way, can you um, push yourself to to get that to get that mark? So um, the two should be pretty confident, knowing that what they've done this season, their their personal best, they've proven that they can challenge the best of the best. Um, so I'm looking forward to to see how they do. So am I. And like I said, we need a medal. Uh, I would love a medal. I have a medal that's a part of my prospect and medal count um, at this at this games. So that's all the time we have for you on another episode of Paris Today, powered by Flo. I'm your host, Trishana McGowan. And who joined me? Carol Beckford, a sports marketer and a sports reporter from the Jamaica Observer, Danielle Blake. When we join you tomorrow, it will be Independence Day. How old are we going to be tomorrow? 62. We are big people. Stay with us for another one.